So, welcome back, ladies and gentle people. We are going over another I Don't Cal 1 game here on my real board, as you can clearly see. Once again, quick refresher, I Don't Cal 1 is a professional who played a bunch of games at 5 Don, to get to 7 Don, and then 7 Don, to 9 Don. So there's two really nice sets of a professional playing an amateur, and we can just learn from their play. Anytime pro pros play amateurs, especially, you know, strong professionals, then you can really see a clear, you know, difference in, like, even the thought processes. There's, like, breaking down in the amateur player that's giving a nice, smooth, basic game uh, to the professional. And we can all learn from that. We can, we can learn something from it. It's awesome. I love it. Pog champ. All right, so in this game, once again, our lovely professional player is black and <laughs> our amateur five Don, who knows no fear, though they should, decides they're going to be the star of today's show. Oh, yeah. They're just going to they're going to immediately, immediately try to like pick some kind of weirdo fight with a hot approach now a legend 88 game that is i would say more basic wouldn't stand for this and they would just back off take territory it's fine but as we're seeing in the i don't cast series this is a pro that doesn't let anyone walk all over him if you try to get up in his face he'll be like okay let's dance And I know what you're thinking. This game could not get any more weird. Well, it's one of today's shorter games for a reason. Because not only did White approach and get pincered, White's going to pincer the pincer. But it's okay, chat. It's okay, chat. It's fine. It's fine. Because, again... Black is a pro that doesn't really take anything from anyone. So after white approaches and we pincered, and then our opponent pincered our pincer, we're going to we're just going to pincer the pincer's pincer. It's it's fine. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It'll end here, right? Now we're probably going to go back and defend. No. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to pincer the pincer's pincer. So if you're the kind of player that likes pincers, don't worry. I got pincers for your pincers so you can pincer while you pincer. You got pincers for days here. And I know what you're thinking. They wouldn't do that again. And you're right! They don't do it again. Partially because there's no way to pin through this again. So then white would have free uh, first move to start making complications here. Because you've literally run out of the board at this point. So this is a move that we don't usually see ever. It's not Jaseki. But then none of this is. So that's fine. I don't hate White's attachment. But you have to be careful of how much territory... Now, to be fair, this isn't territory yet. You cannot claim 5th and 6th line are territory. Okay, now we're now we're getting a little bit more solid. Now we're getting a little bit more solid. White doesn't want to get poked through. So now we're starting to get into fighty times. Okay, okay. I bet Black was giggling this game. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. Now, here is where you're tempted, especially if you're gonna be like trying to be nice, simple, and following basics, just to respond here. The only problem with that is that it is giving your opponent a chance to make uh, easy shape. 
and kind of puts you at a bit of a weak area, right? So black will fight back. Black white responds, sorry. Put him into a heavy shape. This next move I love for multiple reasons. I'm not even sure if it's the best move, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Because we're going to protect the cutting point. We're obviously protecting a cutting point. But the question is, which cutting point and how are we going to ruin the, the board by dropping a stone? Are we going to just connect? Could, but uh, the cutting point, you know? Are we going to do this? Now there's an Atari and a cutting point. So it seems like we keep coming back to the fact that we can be cut here over and over and over again in exchange for saving a teeny tiny stone. Not really liking that so much. So we're probably going to go ahead and defend this cutting point rather than this cutting point. So there's the connection still. A little bit of a heavy move. There's this one. And now there's the poke and the Atari. And then there's this little guy. This little guy who in one move is threatening to surround white. Now, now we're getting somewhere. White's preventing the connection underneath. I, I, can, I can respect that. I can respect that. Only problem now is the diagonal, and this is a mistake that cues make constantly. This is a mistake that cues make constantly. They'll play the diagonal, and then they'll play away. But this diagonal is not strong shape. This is actually pretty weak. Like you've got the counter poke against it for starters. You've got attachments, since this stone technically only has three liberties. Gotta watch out the Hane, watch out for the Hane variations. So, because black, or because, sorry, white is not a Q player, he knows to defend that shape because it is so weak. See? Big brain. Uh, regretfully, that means this is now dead. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. That is what happened. On Forge. No way to live because you're dead. We just go ahead and throw in. Drops down. Connects on back. Got the Hane. That move is huge. White goes ahead and takes. And all right, game over, you would think. You would think game done. Well, I mean, white's dead. But I ask you, chat. Since when does someone actually resign? Just because the last two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen moves they play uh, are dead. Now, to be fair, he's going in for a large area. If he keeps all of this, the game is actually probably in his favor, you know? Like, if he keeps, like, 
I mean, if he's got like something like that, who cares about these stones? That would be insanely big, right? So, in light of the new wind condition that white has, this is actually, oops, sorry, not that one. This makes for an interesting review because you would be tempted, right, to maybe play a move over in here, but it is allowing black, or it's allowing white, sorry, to set up that win condition. So it is a, it's a reasonable, it's like a, it's a reasonable variation. If black makes a mistake here, this is going to be huge. Then you've got like huge area and huge area, even game. So this is where taking the open corner might not be the biggest thing in the world. And making sure that wind condition doesn't spiral out of control. White's getting feisty. But that means we get to just go ahead and live. Pretty easy. Just like so. And now, that's alive. Now we take the open corner. Like, we reduced the win condition by this. That's a lot. We just took all of these points here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, by like one, two, three, four, five, six, like these 36 points here, out of that chance to be a win condition. So black approaches, or black takes the open corner. White's like, I dare you to do that again. And of course, we're not going to. What are you, insane? Did you actually think that was going to repeat over here? You're nuts. You're nuts. No, we did that on an open board because it was an open board. Here, we have things we don't want to lose sight of, which is how white's trying to win the game. We'll take territory for ourselves. Make sure that suddenly, let's say... This isn't growing as another win condition for our opponent. So unexpectedly, unexpectedly, this game is turning to an interesting uh, lesson on like direction of play and win conditions. It's completely nuts. White takes a move. We can approach and expand. White says no territory for you. Okay, then. Territory here instead. And everyone knows this, Jaseki. We extend. Extend. Game's going to show its age for a minute. Sorry about that, but it will. And just like so, we are... Oh, actually, wait a minute. I lied. White was ahead of his time. White was ahead of his time. I did not realize he did go underneath there. That's, uh... That was pretty rare until recently. I'm sorry. I, I dearly apologize. White did go under. I didn't think he would have. But all right, all right, all right, all right. Now here, white does show a little bit of an amateur play again. He's pushing, which is weird, unless you're going to cut, which you're not going to do. So you just like gave up a co-threat, kind of, kind of cringe. And these little things are what you really have to get rid of and just completely removed from your play. Like a four space? Or a three space, sorry. Why are you leaving a three space behind? Because that means you can get invaded there. And sure enough, we're not going to be like, hey, I'm going to protect my territory now. We're not going to do that. 
even if you're trying to play the most basic -y basic game that ever basic we're still not playing moves like that, because that's nuts. That's not basic, that's passive. And in basic play, you want to be basic, but you do not want to be passive. It's like our opponent play the three space. That's not magically a good move that is devoid of, in of weaknesses. We are nice and strong. These cutting points are a joke because this whole group is dead. So, bish, bash, bosh, we're going to attack. If we are strong, and this is basic, if we are strong and our opponent presents a weakness, we're going to go after said weakness. If we don't, then what we are saying in that game is weaknesses don't matter. And they do. That's the whole point of making decent shape and having to protect our stones. Very, very sad move with the attachment. He does get to connect, but he gives a Panuki, which is worth like a bajillion points or so, I hear. Leaving the Ko available to take more points. Like, you can kind of see. Like, that's unfortunate on the upper right. But, I mean, you can kind of see the points coming in for white. You, you can kind of get how he's a 5 Don. Um, I mean, he can't fight for beans, as Paige would say. But, you can, you can see, like, the greed at work, right? How he's just going to keep trying to go after more and more territory. Not really going to protect so much. Not really going to protect so much. And then just kind of hope it all works out, you know? But this is a solid move. It doesn't need defended, though you can. Attacks first. Very, very, very bizarre move to attach to the, uh, the pincering stone. But again, it looks like um, fighting is not this player's strong suit. So... These kind of moves can sort of be forgiven. He attached to cut off the connection, and then he's invading the 3-3. This player is probably uh, doing very, very well in today's meta. So go ahead and block. And before you sound off in the comment section, that's a joke. So please remove stick from... You know where. That was just a joke. Tiger map. Threat for Ko. White says I don't need it, and he's correct. He's alive without it. That's true. Hurting the outside is also true. Black says I'm gonna, or white says I'm gonna live. But that was an overplay. He needed to make sure that this group had its base. And without that base, it is now dead. We got a little push, push, push. A little poke, poke, poke. But yes, corner cannot, cannot, cannot live. And after here, uh, White finally decided that it would be a good time to, re to go ahead and resign. So... Congrats on the resignation. I kind of like the timing of his resignation too, if I'm being completely honest. Like, that died, but he tried to build up a huge thing over here. That didn't work. So he's like, okay, we're going to go in the corner. Make sure that our opponent can't make a lot. And then give a last attack on the open corner. Got counterattacked, broke it, tried to unsettle the base. But when that didn't really work out, then you lose like all of your win conditions. Like you're not winning off of here or here. That's big. That's insane. This is decent. So, sure, he resigned now. That, that that's, pretty, that's pretty good timing. Pretty good timing in my opinion. Because like you, you can see what he's going for here. I saw what he was going for there. I saw what he was going for here. And when they just didn't work out, Nothing else to do. Boom, resign the game.
So, congratulations to, uh, to White. Very spirited game. A little bit short, and so is our next one.